Hola, los seguidores de Lightspeed Spanish. Uh, this is the next um, in the series of uh, videos about the past tense in Spanish. So we've already covered the way that um, the preterite is measurable, if you measure it preterite. So what we're going to cover now is another fundamental part of the preterite, and I promise you that if you grasp this, you will be able to use the preterite uh, without any problems at all. Obviously, I'm not talking about the structure. Look, to learn to use the preterite, to learn the structures like, you know, the, the regular ones like uh, pusiste and um, things like that, you need to do the work. You need to look online. That's easy. That's the easy part. The easy part is learning the structures, the irregular ones, etc., the endings. The challenge is knowing when to use it, and that's what we're dealing with here. So, the preterite is this. If you read all of the books, it says, they say, that the preterite is a completed action. And I remember when I read that and I thought, don't even know what that means, completed action. It's a past tense. Surely everything in the past is a completed action. Surely everything. Because if I say, I used to dance, now I'm not dancing, am I? That's over, so it's completed. So it didn't really make any sense to me to say a completed action, the preterite's a completed action. Um, however, however, let me explain what it is that they were trying to say with a completed action. So, what we've got is this. The preterite is a completed action, and what they mean by that is that in the moment that you say the preterite, when you utter the words, when they come out of your mouth, that action is ended. Let me explain what I mean. When I say, esta mañana me levanté, I've already, I've said it, it's over, now I'm up. I say, I got up, I'm up. Okay, there isn't any, there's nothing that I can fit in between it. Does that make sense? The imperfect is all about that. It's about, here, while I was getting up, this happened and that happened. The preterite is not that. Me levanté, it's over, done. Me duché, now I'm out of the shower. Uh, me vesti, now I've got my clothes on. When I've said the word, it's over. Okay? So as soon as I utter the verb, it's done. And that's why you can't add anything into a preterite action. You can't say, mientras me duche. It won't work. Because when you say me duche, you're no longer in the shower. You're out of the shower. Does that make sense? That's what a completed action is. So what we have is that we have the preterite, which is a solid block of action that cannot be split. Right, there's one exception which we'll go into another time. But the preterite is a solid block of action. Only one thing can happen at one time with the preterite. We can't have any more than one thing happening at one time. Why? Because in the moment that we say it, it's over. And so we can't split it and we can't say, while I showered, I uh, listened to music. You can say that, but you can't with the preterite. The preterite is very limited. That's why we use it as a list and we say, me levanté, me duché, desayuné, salí de casa. We're giving a list of things because as soon as we say it, it's over. All right, now that's very important for you to know because that means you're never going to try and add more than one thing to the preterite. You're never going to try and add two actions at the same time. You can't do it. And so the preterite is a list of actions, sequential actions. And that's why we don't just speak in the preterite. If you spoke only in the preterite, it would be boring as hell. It would be really boring because you're just listing what you did. What did you do today? Bueno, me levanté a las siete, me duché, me vestí, desayuné, salí de casa, trabajé tres horas, volví a casa. Es como, venga, venga, tío. Give it a little bit of chicha. So, that's why the preterite goes hand in hand with the imperfect. And the next time we'll talk about some imperfect things as well. Um, no, some perfect things about the imperfect, not imperfect things. The imperfect's perfect. Uh, they're just I, why they call it the imperfect. I have no idea. Who thinks of these names? 
No idea. Not going to get into that because I get upset, but who would call it the imperfect past? How does that help you in any way? Who calls the past the preterite past? How does that help you? You see, I'm getting angry now. How does it help you in any way? Who thought of those stupid names? Eh? Why didn't we call it the um, was eating, used to eat past? What about we call it the I ate past? That would be, everybody would be sorted then. Everyone would go, oh yeah, the I ate past, yeah, I understand that. Yeah, but it would say the preterite, and everyone goes, oh. and, and even worse, worse, the indefinite past. Now, come off it. That's for the preterite, they call it the indefinite past. Like the preterite couldn't be any more definite. It is a solid measurement. You can measure it. It's incredible. See, now I've got myself all worked up. Who thought of these names? The grammar Nazis, that's who thought of them. So, the preterite, solid block of action, calming down now, centering uh, the light in me, la luth in me. Okay, the preterite is a solid block of action. When you say it, it's over. When you say it, it's over. There are loads of little flies flying around the, the camera. Um, and so, you cannot put two actions, preterite actions, at the same time. This is so vital. Two preterite actions cannot happen at the same time. Have you got that? So, let's just look back what we said. We said that the if you measure it, you have to preterite. Put any measurement on it, even if it's a hidden one. And the preterite is a solid block of action. In the moment that you say it, as it comes uttering out of your voice, your mouth, it's over. All right. Okay, I'll leave that with you. Hasta luego, chicos. Adios. I'm moving around here because the dog, Douglas, is right next to me and he's panting. And the noise is going to be incredible. Right, the, the, Douglas, can you go somewhere else? Your, bre uh, your breathing is very, very extreme.